One of the most important valves in an LP gas container is the pressure relief valve. They can be incorporated into the multi-valve, or as it is here, found as an independent valve. The pressure relief valve is designed to protect the container from catastrophic failures caused by extremely high pressures. These hazardous conditions can result from overfilling, exposure of the container to excessive external heat, the use of incorrect fuel, or improper purging of the container. Proper purging instructions can be found in the Rego Serviceman's Manual. The design of relief valves varies from container to container, yet the components and operating principles are basically the same. The relief valve has three major components, the body, a spring, and a seat disc and retainer assembly. A resilient seat disc provides gas-tight seals. In the closed position, force from the spring holds the seat disc securely against the valve's metal seat. Vapor pressure exerts an opposite force against the seat disc. Should this pressure build to the point where the force is greater than the force from the spring, the stem and seat disc assembly rise a small distance and gas vents to the atmosphere. If the container pressure stops rising and starts to drop due to this venting action, the force from the spring returns the seat disc to the closed position. However, if this initial venting of gas fails to control the pressure buildup and pressure continues to rise in the container, the seat disc will move to a full open position with a sudden pop, allowing a large volume of gas to vent from the container. When enough gas vents so that the force from the gas pressure falls below the force of the spring, the valve is designed to reseat and stop the flow of gas. When a valve has popped to the full open position, the reseat pressure will be less than the set pressure stamped on the valve. Relief valves on containers which have popped fully open should be replaced or they should be removed from service and inspected by knowledgeable personnel to make sure they're in good operating condition and that there are no foreign particles which would prevent the valve from reseating to the gas tight position. All relief valves should be inspected regularly. When inspecting, remember to always wear eye protection and never look directly into the outlet of the valve. Valves should be inspected to make sure that they have open weep holes, are free from signs of deterioration or corrosion, physical damage, tampering or readjustment, leaks, contamination, foreign objects or debris in the outlet, and that there is a protective cap in place at all times. Damaged or missing caps should be replaced at once. Under normal conditions, the recommended life of a relief valve is 10 years from the original manufacture date. However, this life may be shortened and replacement required earlier depending on the environment.